It's a dang power bill. <laughs> so, yeah, hold your breath, guys, but be safe. You know, the main thing is just be safe, especially if you're in that, that window between your first and second shot. All right, uh, because you don't want to do anything uh, stupid and go out there and catch the COVID, uh, you know, while you've got one shot in you. Uh, 713, let's head into the Zoom room now, Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021, where we have Janae Ogden uh, standing by, well, sitting by. And uh, she's doing, this is the third year. You Good morning, Janae. Good morning. Good morning. This is the third year you've done this Women's March, which is co- yes. in, in conjunction with, um, it's International Women's Day, right? Yes, correct. All right. Um, and so tell us, I guess, first of all, a little bit about, God, I wish I'd ask you for some pictures that we could pop up. Do you have any pictures on your phone that you want to send on the WhatsApp and I could get Jason to pop it up? I have to look for it. It's a lot. It's been over a year. Right. You've got, um, all, the, you've got all those COVID pictures in your camera roll, right? I have a bunch of pictures on my camera. Well, 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 we'll get you on. Maybe will you come back on Monday, like uh, from the March. What time's the March, first of all? The march is going to be in the afternoon. We usually start about 4.30. We end about 5.30, 6 o'clock. Okay, and is, where's it going to be? So we usually have it over at the ITC intersection by the Tumini Mayor's office. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we, we usually have it there. Um, you know, it's just a nice big area. Last year, we had um, some breathing exercises right after, some inspirational speeches. Um, yeah, we just try to keep it a little bit different every year. Uh, so obviously this year is going to be very different because very different the COVID, right? So are you going to have like the mask and the social distancing? Definitely. Um, I did encourage everybody who's coming down to wear their mask. Um, if they're in the same household, they can wave together. But I am asking everybody to, you know, wave at a, um, six feet from each other. Uh, and... What's the theme for this year? Is there a theme of, of your... Of- so this year's theme is challenge. Um, man, I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's challenge, challenge the world or... Oh my gosh, I'm so horrible at this. Uh, it's challenge... I'm getting that right now. So yeah, last year's theme was each for equal. So that was really um, promoting the equal equality between the disparity of pay wages between the men and women. And this year is choose a challenge. So this year we want to challenge, you know, inter- the international theme is choose a challenge. And they're really just challenging uh, the boundaries and challenging women to really step out there and shall, ch- oh my gosh, and challenge, you know, society and their perceptions of women. The societal norms, right? Correct. Let me ask you this. So coming and Biba Mess tomorrow, by the way, uh, coming from a matriarchal society, right? And we're a little removed from that because of all this darn westernization. Uh, That's true. But what uh, types of uh, barriers do you think we still have in place here on Guam as far as um, the advancement of, of women? Well, what really inspired me to do the wave three years ago was the fact that um as you know, I, I do a lot of plus size pageants here on island. I represent a lot of plus size delegates who go off island to compete internationally. And what really got me and really um, motivated me to do this wave was the fact that although our society is very, met, um, very much, um, you know, is a matriar- matriarchal society, I just found that a lot of women, although we're claiming women empowerment, a lot of them are really only empowering each other because they were friends. You know, they really put down women who were on the plus size. They never really gave other plus size women a chance. And so that's why I started doing plus size pageants. And that's why I started doing the wave because I just really wanted to unite all women on island. Um, You know, it was very disheartening for me to hear one of my girls say that she joined a very mainstream pageant on island. And they told her, I don't know why you even joined when you're too big, you're never going to win this pageant. Um, wow. You know, that caught wow. that caught international news. It actually hit news up in China and Hong Kong because it was a, inter, you know, it was one of the big five pageants. And so because of that, you know, I, I really, it really got to me, you know, being a plus size woman myself, you know, it really doesn't matter about your size. I think that women should just empower each other. And if I choose to go out in a bikini and a bathing suit, well, then that's my choice. And I'm going to do it. Amen. 
as a plus size man myself, I totally feel <laughs> what you're saying there. Um, yeah, and just some, you know, as as going around as a plus sizer, the comments, you know, especially on Guam, then it's like we're just too open sometimes. You get you. I'm sure maybe it's happened to you guys. We're like, hey, Lani, you living the good life. <laughs> what happened, yes. boy? You're getting big. Well, you know, being Filipina, it's even harder, right? So I'm a Filipina living on Guam, and definitely they they look at me and the Filipinos like, whoa, half girl, you're uh, getting a little plus size there, and I'm just like, yeah, that's that's right. So it's okay. It is. So you you're know, just, it, it's it's so that, harder for a plus size woman. So that's kind of like the challenge you're uh, talking about that's facing a lot of women is where we have the body shaming, right? Definitely, and that's really. The, the main reason why we started the wave, I just wanted to be, I just wanted to unite all the women on the island and let them know that it doesn't matter your size. We should definitely empower each other. You know, I, I have to bring up the fact that my, I sent out a delegate to compete in a national pageant in Nevada uh, in November of 2020, and she won the entire pageant. She won overall. Wow. Madison Cruz, she represented Guam, and she won the overall pageant. And for Yes, and it's a tier B pageant. It's not one of the big five. Don't the down, fact that hey, girl, girl, Guam, do not downsell it. A win is a win. <laughs> well, you know, the, the only reason why I say that is because, you know, you have other pageant productions saying, well, it's not a big five, but still, it is a, it's a win's a win, a win for Guam. There you go. And so I, I was very excited about that. And let's be real, Guam has not have had a delegate go out and represent Guam itself and win overall since 1980. So that's a big deal for me, and, and honestly, it should be a big deal for our island. My uh, Prima Sandra writes in the comments here, what is the march about? The march is really about women empowerment and just promoting this. It's really promoting women just being there for each other. Empowerment. It's, you know, there's so many different meanings for women empowerment. Everybody has their own meaning. And for me, it's just really wanting to unite the women on Guam. Um, everybody, like, we, let's let's be real. Every woman in Guam has their different little cliques. If you're not in this clique, they're not going to feature you. If you're not in this clique, that you know, you won't get the type of support that you that that's that's needed. And I just felt that we should just reunite and just come together. There's so many there's so many issues and there's so many things going against not only plus size women but women in general. Like you mentioned, body shaming. And I just wanted to be able to show that we can all come together and just, you know, be proud to be women. When you talk about the cliques, can you, are, are you, are you talking about like our government? No, 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 okay. no, this is uh no, this is not no relation to government. It's just an, I mean, it, it can be, you know, um, you have, you have women who cannot further because they're not in cliques per se. You have women who will never get the opportunity to model because um, she's not in the skinny crowd. You have women who will never be able to sing because um, her choice of music and her, her style is not the norm. So there's just so many different cliques on this island. And, you know, we just want to be able to say, hey, we're all women. Let's just unite and empower each other right on um where do people go to get info about the march or are you just asking them to just show up well right now um there's really just my instagram page or my facebook people can get information there um all of the different local queens i represent have been sharing it on facebook uh, i i think we're gonna make a page for it just because this is our third year and I want it to be bigger every year. Right. Uh, this year, I'm really encouraging the teens and their mothers to come out and just wave and just show them that, you know, we can all come together. Um, other than the, the um, like, the issues you talk about with the, just clicks and, and body shaming and, and uh, body imaging acceptance, what do you think on Guam or some of the other barriers that are facing women here in 2021? Man, other barriers there. I don't know if I should speak on it, <laughs> but um, <laughs> oh man, Chris, you're putting me on the spot because I want to talk about it, but I don't know my capacity if I can. No, um, there, there, there are a couple of barriers. Um, definitely work-wise, um, 
I think that's one of the biggest ones, being able to progress in their work, in their work profession. Mm. That's one of the biggest barriers because although Guam, I, I feel like although Guam is a little bit past what goes on, like the difference in, in the mainland, like past the whole um, moving forward, I'm trying to say this in the nicest way. Don't don't be nice, Janae. Don't be nice. <laughs> Nobody ever got anything by being nice. Let her rip. Let her rip. <laughs> well, okay. So being a professional on this island, um, you know, you still have the boys club. And so for a lot of women, it's really hard to get past that boys club mentality where if you're not part of this boys club, well, I'm not going to hire you. Mm. Um, I've, I've known some instances where women have been overlooked because so-and-so is their classmate from this certain school. And so a lot of the times women still on island, although we're, I feel like not everybody here um, experience it, it's, it's a secret and, and known fact that if you're not part of at the boys club, then it's going to be hard for you to move forward. Um, people expect women to be a certain way in order to get certain positions on island. And a lot of the times, um, you know, women have to conf to adhere to that just to be able to move forward and progress in their profession. And that's something that's not really talked about. It's just a known fact that nobody really, you know, because of course on our islands, like, you know, sh don't, don't say anything about it. Don't really talk about it. Mm. But it's there. Uh, I'm just proud to say that here at KUAM, my boss is a very, very uh, powerful and assertive, confident woman, Sabrina Salas Matanani. And then yes, my, my, my big boss, Marie Kawamange, is also... Uh, just like a real role model um, for men and women, I think. So I'm really proud to just be part of this KUAM uh, family where I feel like we we kind of set the example, uh, you know, with the uh, women empowerment. I just go where they tell me and do what they say. I'm good with that. <laughs> you have good bosses. I do. You have, you have a great work environment there. We love being there. <laughs> uh, Janae, so this is going down Monday. I wanted to close by playing this song. How did you partner up with this Casanova on the mic? Oh man, Casanova is just so talented. Um, we hooked up with her because she did some uh, music videos for her her songs here on Island, and she had some of our girls model for her. And from then, we just started. You know, we I met her through a mutual friend named Cove, and uh, she performed for us a couple times. And I just got to know her. And she's such a very she's such a energetic and positive young woman. And I just like the fact that. She, you know, she didn't care that she was a female rapper in Island. She just, she tried, you know, she's like, I know the stacks are, um, the odds are stacks against me, but I want to be able to be, to continue my music, which is really hip hop and rap. And I was listening to a lot of her songs and they're very empowering. And, you know, we became friends and she's, my husband, Kevin challenged her. My husband, Kevin was like, I challenge you to write a song about woman empowerment. And so she came up with this song, which is uh, No Makeup On, which was, I think, a great song. It just talks about how, you know, natural beauty, you don't need to wear makeup. You, you, you just, you know, it's it's talking about, like, just showing your real face to the world. And so we thought it was a great song, and it's definitely going to be our anthem on Monday. Uh, and let's kind of go into that, because this generation, I mean, this is a song about no makeup, but makeup is, like, so... When I go on my social media, it's just like makeup, makeup, makeup. They got like whole accounts for like makeup. There's one how makeup to do beauty, your, yes. There's eyelashes. There's so I mean, is that that's part of it too, right? Whatever women want to do, if they want to wear yes. all the makeup, fine. So, if they don't, fine. Oh, totally. Because I love wearing makeup. I mean, I will never be caught without makeup on this island. Like seriously, no. But uh, um, I had to put. On, that's why when you called me, I was like, "Yeah, I'm eating breakfast." That's I'm really. That's really code for I'm putting on makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my husband's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm gonna put on makeup. I'm not going to Zoom with no makeup." Well, Janelle, but, uh, I, I just want to say that there's a lot of rumors about me and all that stuff, but I'm just I'm just proud to stand here confidently and say that I don't have an ounce of makeup on. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Natural beauty. No. <laughs> well, 
her song is really a metaphor about just being yourself. No makeup on is really about, you know, when she says you look better with no makeup on, it's really like you don't need to be fake. You can just be yourself. You don't need to put on an, you don't need to put on a charade or an image to be yourself. You look better with no makeup on. So it's really about taking down those barriers and just showing your natural self. But if you want to wear four inch fake eyelashes, go for it. It's up to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. And if you can't do four, just do the two. It's fine. I mean, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So that's oh, the, the sun's coming up. It is. Sorry. Yeah, you're, you're slowly, your hair's, your head's been I lit know, up slowly my hair through is, the interview. My, my, I didn't want to talk inside because my, my dog was so loud, but I forgot about the sun. What kind of dog you got? I have a French pit bull. His name is Pablo Escobar. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was that's watching Narcos. A, that's a, that's we a real mashup. A French pit bull named Pablo Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> He's the cutest dog ever. <laughs> Janae, thank you for coming on. Uh, so, again, the details that's going down Monday, uh, ITC intersection around what, like yes. four, four o'clock? Uh, we start showing up about 4.30. We're going to wave off 5 o'clock when people start to come out of work. And we encourage everybody to honk, wave, you know, be positive. Don't throw anything at us, please, a day, please. Unless Just wave. Unless it's like, you know, something good, right? Unless it's money or makeup, we'll right, take it. Right, right. So are you partnering up with, like, Bureau of Women's Affairs and all that for this? Actually, no. I, I've been doing this solo for the past three years. I'm trying to just keep it. I mean, as much as I would love to, that's great. I, I really try to keep it grassroots level and not be involved with anything and make it turn into something that. Political or whatever. Correct. Right. I want to keep it grassroots level. This okay. is not affiliated with anything. This is just me as a citizen wanting to empower women on island and inviting everybody to join me. Right on. Okay. Uh, thank you, Janae. We're going to go ahead and play this uh, song now from Casanova on the mic. Uh, it's a song that uh, God bless you and your work, Janae. Thank you, you guys. You guys have a great morning. You too.